What's going on, guys? Chase Ghost Pizza is a spread coming to you Thursday, May the 10th. Coming to you with another free pick winner for you. Let's do a recap of what happened on Wednesday. Phenomenal day. Phenomenal, phenomenal day, as always, guys. Uh, we did come off of Tuesday being a rough day. But what I say, bounce back day. So what I did is gave out, like I said in my video yesterday, I was uh, mulling over all my premium plays and um, decided that I was going to give out one of my top plays of the day. And this was my number two play of the day that I gave out in the free picks. That was Cleveland on the money line. And Cleveland is not a team that you need to ride very hard. But always pay attention to Cleveland. There's always a play on Cleveland, at least 80% of the time whether it be to fade or to favor the team. As most of my premium guys know, I'm heavy, heavy on Cleveland games, but I fade them just as much as I favor them. But every time that I usually take them, at least 75% of the time, I know when to take them. And today was the day um, getting beat with Kluber on the mound. That was a, a tough one to swallow for anybody that, um, that took Cleveland. So I said, you know, perfect bounce back spot. Yeah, they're not a great team right now. They they just don't know how to put runs on the board, but they're playing against a team in the National League that, you know, National League and American, League and American League teams play different. This was a perfect spot to take Cleveland as not only a bounce back, but somebody that overall just is the better team. So put that out as a money line play on a low number. Easy, easy, easy winner there, guys. And that was a top premium play. So let's jump into the rest of the premiums that I did. I did lay off the NBA today. did lay off the NHL, obviously, because there was no games. The one NBA game today, um, I did have a handful of people that are um, – like on an all sports package that text me and said, listen, you know, are you going to play this game tonight? I said, no. Um, I had put a little hundred bucks on it myself, but for something like that, I'm not giving it out as a premium. That was more of a, just a, a lean at best, but they asked me and I discussed it with my NBA guy. Both of us are just ready for this particular series between the Celtics and the 76ers to end. Let's move on to the next round where some serious money can be made. Um, but in saying that, the uh, people that did ask, I did tell them that, you know, I gave them um, a nice little lean on Boston. Um, but that was that was all we did. We did not release that as a premium. Obviously, nothing in NHL. So, um, MLB. Five plays total today is what we did. All premiums. One was given out in the free video on Cleveland. The rest of them. Let's go over the loss first. It was the Mets on a basically a pick em game. Had the Mets on the money line as a pick em. And, guys, I made the right call. I did. They struck first with a nice little home run. It was a very, very low scoring game. Late in the game, Cincinnati tied it up. But extra innings came. And even when extra innings came, I felt really comfortable. I said, good, extra innings. The Mets are the better overall team. They'll be the one to go strike that one run, and that'll end it for them. They'll go. They'll hit the one run. They'll shut out Cincinnati in the next half inning. But what happened? Walk off home run with Cincinnati. So that was a loss. Um, for anybody that did jump on that, obviously you didn't pay heavy juice. That was a that was an easy loss to swallow. So let's get into the rest of them. Uh, my top play of the day was on the Chicago Cubs on the run line. Quintana on the mound. Ever since coming from the south side over to the north side and getting on the right side of Chicago, he um, at home he's been very good. And playing against the mermen, mermaids, whatever you want to call them, the Marlins. That's a joke of a franchise, guys. Hopefully Derek, uh, Derek Jeter will be able to turn it around, but I just I don't have any respect for the franchise. I don't like them. I don't like their stadium. I don't think they have a fan base that boasts of anything. But anyway, another rant for another day. But so in saying that, um, that was an easy, easy run line winner. They absolutely blew them out. <laughs> Anthony Rizzo just put some nice little padding on the lead with a nice three-run homer late in the game. So that was a winner. Also had the Houston Astros on the run line. That was a 4-1 to one winner. Had the Pittsburgh Pirates on the money line, which was a low, low money line. Got that one as well. They had the uh, they were getting beat by the White Sox for the majority of the day, but ended up coming back and taking care of business on that one. Cleveland Indians, like I said, low, low money line. That was a winner. So, guys, overall, I put out five plays today. I was 4-1. and one. Should have been 5-0. and oh. The Mets should have won that game. They really, really should have. Um... But either way, 4-1, and one, phenomenal day. Um, I did not get to – so one of the games that I was looking at all day today, and Jimmy and I actually, when we had to talk about some other things, we got discussing the Atlanta Braves today. 
him and I both love the game. The only reason I didn't push it out as a premium play was because due to traveling issues, the one thing that I did not get to study in that game was the uh, officiating staff, who was going to be behind home plate, who was going to be in the field officiating. And that's something that I break down in every game. If I put it out as an official premium play, that's something that I broke down 100%. Um, but I didn't get that chance. But aside from that, everything that I had broke down and everything that I know about that team and everything that I know about Tampa Bay, which, guys, if you go back and look at my plays, I've played Tampa Bay and Atlanta both. I've been involved in games a lot this season. Everything screamed to me, Al, or excuse me, Atlanta, I mean, all day long. Atlanta, 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 no competition. You could have laid the run line. But it's not fair to my premium guys unless I actually go out there and do exactly what I do on every play. Uh, but Jimmy and I spoke about it, and I said, listen, I didn't get a chance to do that. And by that time, we were already about 30 minutes from the start of the game. So I wasn't just going to go on a whim. I'm not throwing darts with your money. I'm not throwing darts with my picks. I decided to lay off. But I know for a fact Jimmy got a handful of phone calls and I got about five customers of mine as well that specifically text me for that and said, hey, I'm playing it whether you give me a pick or not, but what's your, what's your thoughts on it? And I said, this is what I didn't get to break down. This was going to be my top play of the day or my second top play of the day, second to the Cubs. I said, but because I didn't get to do it, it's not an official uh, premium play. I said, but Atlanta all day. Every bit of information I've got on this game, Atlanta all day what happened another blowout so for all the guys that jumped on that congratulations i'm sorry that i didn't get to push that out as a premium play but overall four and one phenomenal phenomenal day guys call in to ghost picks tell me you want my season package day package three day package whatever you so choose but the best bang for the buck is a season package no matter how you get it uh right now don't forget the promotion 30 percent off and you're getting NBA or NHL for the rest of the season for no extra charge. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to extend that promotion one more day. I did have some people call me today and say, hey, uh, based on their, you know, the way they get paid and, and you know, stuff that's going on that we don't pry into the information. We don't care. That's your own personal business. But they said, hey, if you'll give me the opportunity to do it on Friday, I want to sign up as an MLB season long member. I agree to do that with them. But again, I don't take special care of one person all my premium guys i take care of all my free play guys i try to take care of as much as i can so because i offered it to them i spoke with jimmy he agreed i'm going to extend it one more day it's going to go through friday friday uh midnight eastern time the deal is done no more 30 percent off it will go back up to regular price um and that's sorry guys that's just the way it is so make sure you jump on because if you're not on our premiums you're missing out as it is no matter what you get it at but to get it at 30% off and still, you know, for people that had to pay full price, you know, you're missing out, guys. Jump on it. Call in. Talk to Jimmy. Tell him you want it. Or go to ghostpicksats.com and just sign up for it, whichever works best for you. Guys, I'm rambling a lot. I've got a lot more work to do on today's game so we can have another phenomenal day. Let's jump into a free pick winner, which will be another premium play. Uh, New York Yankees sitting around 150 on the money line. CeCe Sabathia coming to the mound. There's an argument to be made on either side of this. The Red Sox have been kind of um, going downhill a little bit in the last couple of weeks. They're still one of the best teams. I think they still hold the top spot overall in their division, but the Yankees are eating their ass up. And right now, the Yankees are seeing the field so well. They're seeing the ball so well. Uh, people that were not contributing in their lineup that everybody thought they would, they're locked in now. And you've got the brilliant mind of CC Sabathia coming to the mound. I got screwed with CC last time because they pulled him out after only giving up three hits. Not giving up a run, but three hits. I don't think he has to worry about that as much. I think all the run support that he's getting... Um, from Judge and Stanton and all his other guys. I think that CeCe's experience, his brilliant pitching mind comes through. Not only are you in the Bronx, but the Yankees are the hottest team in baseball, and, it, and it's not really close with anybody else. Take them, take them on the money line. CeCe Sabathia, New York Yankees. That is a premium pick tomorrow. A lot more premiums to come where that is. We will have a play in the NHL tonight, um, so we're going to jump back into the other sports. 
So guys, it's gonna be another big day. It was a huge, huge, huge day on third, or excuse me, on Wednesday. It's gonna be another big day on Thursday. You want the premiums? Call in, tell Jimmy you want Chase's season long package with the discount and with the addition of NHL or NBA, whichever you choose. Guys, let's make it a great rest of the week, great weekend. I love you, appreciate all the support. Hit a like button, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Guys, I'm here to take care of you. Let's kill your bankroll, let's grow it, and let's stuff it right in your bookie's face, man. Good luck, guys, as always. Appreciate everything. GhostPigsATS.com. Do not forget to sign up for the season-long package. Yankees, Moneyline, premium free pick of the day. Let's kill it. Good luck, guys.